Hey everybody, my name is Wellens, and we're checking out The Sinking City today, a Lovecraftian story set in the 1920s in a, well, a sinking city. And for some reason, everybody in the town is plagued by nightmares and visions and... We're a detective trying to figure out why those things are happening, while we're also being affected by those nightmares too. This game is made by Frogwares, who previously made a whole bunch of Sherlock Holmes games, so I think there's going to be a huge focus on the detective work and the mystery here. Frosty Welcome Dear Mr. Charles Reed, As you requested, I've researched the outbursts of hysteria and visions in the city of Oakmont, Mass. It turns out that your assumptions were correct, such cases are indeed more frequent here. Men and women from across the country are drawn to Oakmont, haunted by visions similar to yours, a city drowning, the presence of something great, yet unknown. As luck has it, I believe we have stumbled upon the source of your ailment, and the person who might help you with it. Prepare yourself, then come to Oakmont as soon as you can. I will meet you here, and help you on your way. Cordially, Johannes Vanderberg. Oh my god. Well, they certainly didn't waste any time. It's right there. Oh my god. Nightmares, huh? We're all fully dressed already. Sharon Ship. Dear Mr. Charles Reed. Oh, this is the letter I just read. So I'm Charles Reed then, huh? And I'm trying to seek help for my nightmares. And I guess I'm on the boat going to wherever this guy is right now, Oakmont. Frosty Welcome. Casebook. Oh, okay. So we're gonna have multiple cases here. Main case, side case, completed cases. And this is a main case right now, us going to Oakmont. Okay. Pin evidence, place on map. Place on map. We don't have a map right now. Maybe we should just walk around a little bit first. I never have to use it, but something tells me I will. That's not a good sign. Pistol rounds, folding camera, key evidence collected. Oh, I think um, for the detective stuff, I'm on the beginner mode right now for newcomers. So whenever we collect the stuff, it's going to tell me, hey, this is important. Let's leave it like that, at least for the beginning. Gunpowder, coil springs. Never trust a tourist advertisement. Oakmont Monolith National Park is waiting for you. Oh. This room. Are there supposed to be other people here? But at least for the moment, it's only me. 
Now get out! Oh, we're here already. At last, Mr. Charles Reed. What a pleasure to finally meet you in the flesh. Nice to meet you. Uh... Johannes Vanderberg, at your service. I did promise to meet you the moment you arrived. Ah, much obliged, Mr. Vanderberg. I guess I didn't expect you to mean so literally. Please call me Johannes. But where are my manners? Welcome to the proud city of Oakmont. Alas, now is not its finest hour, though it is its most important. <laughs> That's an eye-catching suit. Thank you, Mr. Reed. A mere flood is no excuse for one to abandon one's style. I take it you're a big fan of yellow. Well, I have a particular weakness for it. Call it a personal quirk. You said you know someone who can help me with my... problem. The visions have been getting worse. Such vividness of dreams is not uncommon here in Oakmont. By chance, the man I spoke of, Robert Throgmorton, is already at the port. He has dedicated a lot of time and effort to investigate this issue. Alas, I fear he has a more pressing matter on his hands. Reaching Oakmont was no easy task. Most maps I found didn't mark it, and this rickety packet ship is the only one that sailed here. Why is that? Oakmont is no ordinary place. Its unique geographical position and the flood, a recent natural disaster, make it nigh impossible to reach. But you made it, Mr. Reed. I'm sure the tides of fate would have brought you here one way or another. I like how they clarify for me that the Flood is a natural disaster. <laughs> Tell me about this Flood. It began six months ago. Storms raged for several weeks. And the water has risen ever higher without receding. Now the city is cut off from the mainland. I must say I rather like it, despite the inconvenience. Atmosphere, you know? So it's just been raining this whole time? Dang. How can I find Mr. Throgmorton? Don't worry, you can't miss him. Throgmorton tends to... <laughs> stand out from the crowd. Even more than you? Can you tell me a little about Mr. Throgmorton? A remarkable creature. Scion of a robust bloodline. A philanthropist, a scholar, and the patron of the famous Oakmont University. A man of great ambitions and even greater ego. Do not make him wait. I'll need a place to lay my head while I'm here. Any recommendations? Fear not. I've already feathered a nest for you. There's a room in your name at the Devil's Reef Hotel. Here's the key. Sounds... charming. Don't judge a book by its cover, Mr. Reed. Well, thank you, Mr. Vanderberg. Are you paying for this? What's the best way to get around Oakmont? I'd like to drop my things at the hotel. Most locals go by foot, or by boat. I've got the latter sorted for you. There's one waiting outside the port. Ah, you're too kind, Johannes. Can you steer me towards the Devil's Reef? Take this map. I've marked the hotel and a few other key places. How do you fill your days, Mr. Vanderberg? I host a philosophy club for the like-minded intelligentsia. <laughs> gathering seeds of thought like moths drawn to a flame. Does Oakmont really have much of a market for philosophy these days? There is no consciousness without pain, Mr. Reed. No better moment for clarity than times of hardship. I wish we had some cover while we were talking here. Just kind of standing in the rain. Other places? Like what? You're a private eye, yes? Well, I've highlighted the police station, city archive, newspaper. Places you'll need to get to the truth. This city is insular. Its ways mysterious. No one will take you by the hand, so you better know where to turn in search of a lead. Okay. Well, that's it for now, I think. Uh, thanks for helping me get my bearings. No, no. The pleasure was mine, Mr. Reed. Oh, before you go, how can I get in touch with you later? Don't worry about that. 
I'm the kind of man who finds you. Well, that's not suspicious at all. M. There we go. There's our map. We are currently at Grimhaven Bay. Oh, but look at this. Every single street has a name and all. That's pretty detailed, huh? And there's different districts. We just came off of the ship here, Sharon ship. Key evidence collected. Okay. T for more information. Mmm. So I think this is how the tutorial works. We're not really gonna see it in game, but if you have a question, you can look into any of these tabs here. We just saw this icon. Investigation scene. Key evidence collected. All right. We'll meet again, Mr. Reed. No, I'm sure. Whoa. This town just has like random dead octopuses lying around here. Welcome to Oakmont, a town on the rise. Oh, the water level's on the rise. Under the keel bar. Exit. I saw somebody standing here. I wonder if I can talk to them. Oh, they're praying. The end is nigh. It will begin again. What is down comes up. The seed is sowed. The end is nigh. Mm. It will begin again. What is down comes up. The seed is sowed. This town seems kind of superstitious already, but I wonder if every single person is like that. Oh, that must be the guy I'm looking for. I don't care about your petty excuses. Whoa! No one leaves the port until my son is found, and that is final. Uh, ahem. <clears throat> uh, excuse me. Are you Robert Throgmorton? I am, but not interested. Go away. The name's Charles Reed. I'm a private investigator, just arrived from Boston. I was told you might be able to help me. Private investigator, you say? Well, perhaps we can help each other. Uh... Yeah! Please forgive the question, but... I've never met a man quite like you before. That's because no man measures up to the Throgmorton lineage. Proud and powerful blood flows through our veins. My father united with a certain royal family, which has blessed all our offspring with these exquisite features. You look like an actual ape. I'm not saying you're ugly like an ape. I'm saying you look like an actual ape. <laughs> My goodness. If I may ask, what happened to your son? Why do you care? What's your angle, outsider? Well, like I said, I'm a PI. Finding people is kind of my specialty. Is it? Well, Albert was part of a deep sea expedition I commissioned. This useless fool over here says he found Albert washed ashore in a lifeboat. Says he was barely conscious, out of his mind, talking gibberish in some other language. But he even tried to bite him. And you don't believe him? Complete malarkey. I know my Albert. I raised him strong and smart, the best of his kind. It couldn't have been him. Albert's disappearance is the work of Innsmouthers, mark my words. I take it you're not the biggest fan of these Innsmouthers. Those fish-faced freaks have overrun this city since the police burned Innsmouth to the ground. But now... Those filthy migrants occupy half this damned city. The port, Grimhaven Bay, Salvation Harbor, the shells. They are everywhere. So they're just... refugees? <laughs> Hardly. They've taken work from the local fishermen. They stir and agitate against us, the Throgmorton family. We are the pillar of this community, not to mention that crime rates have skyrocketed. Simply speaking, they are a big stinking pile of trouble. When he says people are fish-faced, I don't know if he means literally or not, because considering your features, 
I've heard you're the man to speak to about visions, outbreaks of hysteria. I'm trying to get to the bottom of it myself. Another newcomer with another problem. Hmm. Yes, I know what you speak of. Can I ask you a few questions? How dare you. My son Albert is missing and no one in this Innsmouth, a ridden city, will do a damn thing. But yes, let's talk about your dreams. I guess we gotta do this. Mr. Throgmorton, let me help you. I'm rather good at tracking down missing people. I'll find Albert. What makes you think you can do it? Oakmont is not exactly friendly to new arrivals. Let's just say I tend to see things that others miss. And anyway, what have you got to lose? Sounds like you could use every man you can get. Vera, you have a point, newcomer. Sorry, did you just say Vera? What does that mean? You had better get used to the Oakmont dialect, outsider. That is, if you want to fit in. It is a fascinating blend. Vera means fine. I was saying, we have a deal. I see. Thank you. So Oakmont is closed off enough that they have their own language. That's kind of interesting. I need to know more about what happened to Albert. Tame. Did you not listen at all? I already told you everything. After leaving on the expedition, Albert was found on the shore in a lifeboat. This fisherman supposedly brought him to the house and then left to call me. But when I arrived here, my son was nowhere to be seen. Anything else? Clearly, something suspicious occurred inside the house. I suggest you stop dawdling and go see for yourself. Where's the house where this all happened? For Kay's sake, I thought you were a private eye. Was standing right in front of it. <laughs> you mentioned a lifeboat. Is it still around? Yes. Face the house, then to the left is a beach that borders a fence. You'll find it there. As much as I'm enjoying the weather, Mr. Throgmorton, it's time for me to get started. Find my son, newcomer, and be quick about it. Are you gonna offer me a reward or something? Evidence. Contains crucial information about what to do and where to go next. To get evidence, talk to people, look at things, yada yada yada. Okay. Pin evidence on the HUD to keep track of your current goal. You can also place evidence on the map in the HUD from the casebook screen. Okay. The fisherman's house is right here. We haven't looked at it just yet. Mind Palace. Throgmorton Innsmouther feud. The Throgmortons and the Innsmouthers are in an ongoing are in an ongoing feud. Albert returned unstable. Albert Throgmorton behaved strangely after returning from the sea. He was mad, violent, and spoke gibberish. And if we want to find out more about our own visions, we have to help this guy, don't we? The rich guy in town. I gave you clear instructions, did I not? I've said everything I know. Don't do anything stupid, newcomer. And keep your hands where I can see them. You're gonna let me go in, right? God, <laughs> the guy's holding the umbrella. Oh my god. Am I allowed to go in? Don't do anything stupid, newcomer. Hmm. And keep your hands where I can see them. He told me the fisherman's house is right here, but I'm not allowed to go in and check it out. Do you want me to, like, go from the back, or...? It doesn't seem like there's too much else here. Okay. Let me try the whole... What the heck? Is that? What is that? It's like some weird... Armadillo squirrel thing. Huh. Yes, Robert's request. I gave you clear instructions, did I not? Well, where was the lifeboat then? Since it seems like I can't get into the house here. Or, like, is there another way- Oh. 
I expected there to be a dot on the door to indicate that I could interact with it. Whoops. Oh my god, there's so many sea creatures here. <laughs> Let's see what you find, newcomer. Are you the police? It would take tremendous effort to move this thing, let alone tossing it over like this. So something very strong. Whoa. Hello? Hey, can you hear me? Ah. Oh my head. What? Who are you? Are you police? I've already told them everything. It's okay. I'm Charles Reed, Private Eye. Mr. Throgmorton hired me to find his son. Oh, oh, okay. What do you want? Tell me about yourself. Uh, name's Will. Will Hammond. I'm a fisherman. We all are. Live here together. Me, poor fella Paul, Barry and Innsmouth of Lewis Flynn. We moved here after the flood. I worked on the railroad, but the rail ain't kicking anymore, so I started fishing. It was out of starve. I want to know what happened here. Every detail. I don't remember much. Me, Paul, and Lewis. We were here. This is our house. Barry was outside on his business. Then he came back carrying Thogmorton's son. He was unconscious, barely breathing. Barry left again to call Mr. Robert. Then what? We put the guy in Lewis's room. Then he started to make these horrible sounds and, okay, my head began to burst. And he woke up. And after that, I don't remember a thing, just dreams. Drowned streets, a sleeping giant, a voice that called me... Ah. Hmm. That sounds familiar. So people in this town are having the same kind of dreams as me. Even though I don't live here. Oh, I was wondering about this too, because Robert was also mentioning this uh, K person. Who is this K you keep mentioning? Outsider, show some respect. K is our lord, our light, our love. Sorry, I, I didn't know. Where are all the other guys? Uh, that's Paul there on the floor. K be with him. Barry's outside with Mr. Throgmorton. Lucky rascal missed everything. And I have no idea where Lewis or Throgmorton's son got to. Starting to suspect the worst. Do you know how Paul died? I... don't know. When I pulled myself together, he was already... gone. K have mercy on his soul. I'll leave you to it. Take care of yourself, Will. Please, detective? Sir? Tell me the truth. Could it be me? Did I kill Paul? Or... Okay. Did I kill him? I don't know yet, Will. The police will stop anyone coming in or out of here, so I suggest you just try and get some rest. I'm afraid of what I might dream. People are being driven to madness here. Whoa, that is a scary reflection. Wait, that actually looks like my back. What in the world? <laughs> choo choo. <clears throat> this K person, though, he didn't really give me much to go off of. He was just like, K is our Lord, our Savior. But, like, who is she? Alcohol, metal scrap. Supplies for crafting, I suppose? Oh, there's Paul. Holy God! I can barely recognize the face of the poor fella. He was beaten to a pulp. Ooh. Uh. What? Am I going insane? I can barely recognize the face of the poor fella. He was beaten to a pulp. So I noticed we have meters here. 
The blue meter going down. Is that why I'm kind of funny right now? I'm surprised they don't have someone's portrait here. It seems to go back up after a while, though. Okay. Oh. Grenna, Nihri, Grenna, Gib Hal, Nugulina, Hafjim. Oh, it seems like I have some kind of mind reading ability here. The mind's eye. Retrocognition. Allows you to understand events that happened in the past. Inspect enough evidence on the scene, and the vision will emerge. Step into it and find all the critical scenes. Oh. There's a lot going on. Mind's eye. Following the omens. Mind's eye can reveal omens that guide your way. We can look around normally first. Whoa! So, that's what an inn's mouther looks like. Oh, the fish face freaks. Eyes? Never seen knives like this before. Masterful work. Seems like prohibition hasn't affected Oakmont too much. Still got alcohol here. Oh, now I guess we're seeing what happened. What's happening? Oh, we saw that this floating figure was muttering some incantations. Is that Albert then? Oh, that must be Albert because they brought him back in, right? And then these three guys were Will, Paul, and the other guy. They ran out here. Take this, ape face. <laughs> ape face would be talking about Albert, right? But I can't really tell which one it is. This one, maybe? Are they trying to hurt him? Yeah, run! Okay, let's see what we have here. Oh. Yeah, run. Mm. This one seems like it should just be Oh, there's more here. Oh no, no, that was the first one. Would it just be one? <gasps> Two? What? Take this, ape face. <laughs> Three? Yeah, run. When Albert Throgmorton woke up, he was not himself. He attacked the fishermen, and his hysteria spread to them. When he got wounded, he fled. Um. Oh. So that's kind of how we solve cases here. We have this ability to go into the past. And then with that, we can figure out how things happen chronologically. Except I'm kind of going crazy right now, for whatever reason. There was a fierce fight here, but someone tried to flee. But now we understand what happened. Mind Palace. Investigation of the main case reveals clues for your Mind Palace. Okay. Combine pairs of relevant clues to get evidence, deductions. Some deductions can be interpreted differently. This can lead to different conclusions. Discover all possible conclusions to fully understand the case, but it is up to you how to solve it. We got a lot of evidence here. House Brawl. A fisherman brought unconscious Albert Throckmorton to his house and left. When Albert woke up, he caused an outburst of hysteria and attacked the rest of the fishermen. One of the fishermen shot him and Albert fled through a hole in the wall. Will was one of the people here, and he said that Barry found Albert unconscious and brought him in, but then Albert went crazy, and then everyone seemed to get nightmares after that. 
with Paul dead. Mines Palace. Albert attacked the fisherman. Oh, okay, so we can select two things and then combine them, maybe? Hmm. Lewis shot without warning. When Albert Throckmorton became aggressive, Lewis, an inn's mother fisherman, immediately started shooting at him. Sudden psychotic break. Hold on. So would this be- could I do like this? Anti-Throgmorton sentiment. As an inn's mouther, Lewis and his people suffered at the hands of the Throgmortons. That could be a reason to hate them. Okay. Oh, okay, okay, I see. Ah, so they have it set up like this, so it's not really like spoon feeding you. You gotta actually think about it and see what makes sense. Albert returned unstable. He behaved strangely after returning from the sea. He was mad, violent, and spoke gibberish. Sudden psychotic break. Albert fled when wounded. Albert attacked the fisherman. Well, would Albert return unstable and attacking the fisherman be related? Albert Throgmorton was dangerous and posed as a threat to Louis Flynn and his fellow fishermen. So we have three fishermen here, Will, Paul, and Lewis, and Lewis is the one that's missing right now. Oh! How many more can we combine here? Albert returned unstable. Sudden psychotic break. It's related to Albert, right? Albert spread hysteria around him. Albert Throgmorn spread some sort of psychic influence, which made everyone nearby suffer hysteria. Hmm. One fisherman is missing. Albert fled when wounded. Are they missing together? I can track down Albert. Albert and the fisherman named Lewis fled the scene after the fight in the house. I can track them using my supernatural sense. Oh, alright. Oh, this is kind of cool. Hmm. Now we have one left. Presumably it's still here because we need to use it later on. I can track down Albert. Sure. Let's mark this evidence then. And that'll make it appear on the screen, right? Follow the omens. Mind's eye. Is that an omen? I wonder. Did we finish looking in here earlier? Pretty much, I suppose. Five cards short of a full house. They were playing here. A fisherman's house. If I look outside, it's just a gaping hole. I don't want to fall down there, do I? <laughs> Let's see what you find, newcomer. Hmm. Okay. Did that hurt? Right, this was downstairs. Some weird, creepy sounds here. Huh. This dog mat looks better than the owner's bed. New dog? The freaking wall is covered in barnacles and stuff. Oh. The symbols mean something, don't they? Is that part of the omens that we are supposed to follow? The book is damp and damaged, but clearly well cared for. All evidence collected. Okay. If we want to try tracking Albert down... I gave you clear instructions, did I not? Okay, nobody really wants to talk to me here. But I guess... Would the hashtag sign be the omen? So now we're gonna go around town trying to look for that hashtag? Maybe it's better for us to just simply walk around and see what we find. And I just noticed here... 
Does this mean that we didn't finish collecting something back at the ship? Yeah, while we're here anyway, should we go back and check again? I think it might have been that thing that we saw on the wall before, but for some reason, we couldn't really interact with it. Okay, the guy's gone. Yeah, this. Can we do anything about that? Oh, we have a radial menu here. So this is the same icon. The camera. Photo of a trophy plate. Oh, and now we got all the evidence. Right, now it's a nice green color here. Cool. Lore. Photo of a trophy plate. Trophy plate with a strange fish. Looks very lifelike. Ugh. Oh, okay, okay. Mm, it's a little bit confusing and hard to follow because they never actually taught me how to open and look at my items except for this one menu here. Wish they would make it a little bit more explicit, but hey, we got in the end. Now all we gotta do is track down Albert using my supernatural sense. Does it cost me any effort? to do this forever? It doesn't seem so. That's good, I guess. Oh. Well, that's an omen. So we can kind of vaguely see where people are going. Hey, there's a symbol again. Whoa! Bullet? So the fisherman pursued Albert, even let off a few shots. We got a new clue from that. Okay. So they had a big dispute then. Right, because of their family feud. What's this action though? This guy's just like kneeling down here and oh my gosh. But it seems like they went this way. Look at all these handprints all over the place. Is this Death Stranding? Even though Albert was wounded, he managed to climb that high. Robert wasn't exaggerating when he said he raised him strong. Hmm. I wonder if we see too many spooky things, if we stay in the Mind Palace for too long. Is that why my blue bar goes down? It seems so. Another symbol here. So this might be something we want to use sparingly then, if we want to stay sane. Oh. Metal scrap. Yeah? Hmm. There's something in the pocket. Bloodstained note. Lewis, please, just give me one more week. I know I owe you, but I'm underwater like everyone else right now. I don't yet have enough stock to operate the bar smoothly, with a fuzz snooping about the port. But don't worry, I've struck a nice deal with the proper people, and should have a steady supply channel soon. Just one more week, and I'll return everything with double interest. Peter. Oh, so Peter owes Lewis money. Don't get the impression that overall, the economics of the town's doing too well, just cause... We're sinking! <laughs> We're literally sinking into the ocean. Gunpowder. What can we do with that? Inventory? Craft. Gunpowder. So if I craft this... Oh, okay, I think I made one bullet. That's what's happening, right? It's not that I have seven guns. First aid kits? Okay, well, we'll just leave it alone for now then. Casebook. Bloodstained note. Torn piece of jacket. The way the jacket was torn was so deliberate. Hmm. Albert fled when wounded. Lewis pursued Albert. Bar owner is indebted to Lewis. Can we do these two? 
Lewis may have wanted Albert dead because he was a Throgmorton rather than just to drive him off. Yeah, possible. Possible. Nope. So much fish here. This warehouse doesn't seem to be in use anymore, though. The blood is fresh. Whomever it belongs to could not have got far. Albert? Lewis? That hashtag symbol... Does it just mean supplies? Padlocks. Padlocks and weak planks can be broken with a shot or melee attack. Oh. The one right there. Well, if I want to shoot it, I would have to change my weapons. But out of curiosity, how exactly do we do a melee attack? Did it ever teach me? I don't think it ever taught me, right? <laughs> melee attack, E. Okay. Don't think we need to use a bullet here, but if we do, it'll be like this. The door won't budge. <laughs> Whoa. What? Whoa! Whoa! Oh my god! What the hell is that? Oh! What is it? It's got like normal hands and everything. Oh my god. Oh my god, and I used three bullets right there already. Maybe I should craft more just in case. Yeah? The first shot though, we didn't even reload. We didn't even load. Disappeared. What's going on in here? Is that Lewis or Albert? One fatal round through the forehead. That's no accident. This was deliberate. It's Albert. You can tell because of his face. He looks like his dad. All evidence collected already? Wait, so... Oh my god, he was murdered. But we don't know where Lewis is. Oh! There's more of them in here. Ugh. Well, it seems that there's not gonna be any more evidence since we collected it, so I guess we're done here. Again, though, we gotta avoid looking at these strange things for too long, because it seems to make me insane. Hmm. Casebook. Albert was murdered. I found his body in the basement of a warehouse not far from the fisherman's house. He was fatally shot, impaled on hooks, and then hidden. Can we infer that Albert was murdered by Lewis then? Since Lewis tried shooting him, he has a gun. No. Oh, no, 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 what? Wait, Albert was murdered? Lewis left the crime scene? Oh, well, I mean, yeah, he's not there right now, but he was probably here earlier, right? Would Albert's murder have anything to do with a debt? I don't think so. Hmm. Out of curiosity, was it possible for us to jump down here? Oh, it is, but it's just the same place. Okay, well, we know what happened, I guess. And now we gotta be the bearer of bad news and bring it back to Robert. <laughs> I'm very athletic, all the while carrying this backpack. Mm. Mr. Throgmorton, uh, I've encountered something. Uh... What? I don't have all day. Some unusual creatures. 
and they sure weren't friendly. You've seen a wild beast, Mr. Reed. I'm somewhat surprised to see you still alive. Those unsettling things appeared after the flood. I've commissioned a few studies on them, but we know little more than when we started. They're aggressive, but fortunately, not immune to gunfire. Yeah, I learned that firsthand. Try to avoid them when possible. And when you can't, keep your weapons handy. Are we just accepting this? They exist, and we're not gonna tell the police or anything. They're just a thing. Mr. Throgmorton, I'm afraid I have bad news. Oh, no. Yeah, I found your son in the basement of a nearby warehouse. I'm sorry, but he was murdered. Shot in the head and the body hidden. No. It cannot be true. No, no, no. I don't believe it. No. My condolences, Mr. Throckmorton. I had hoped for a happier outcome. Your condolences will not bring him back. So much of our blood spilt for nothing. So much effort in vain. My poor Albert. Tell me you know who did it. I want to look him in the eyes. Make him beg for mercy. Mm, it does look like it might be Lewis, but... I don't know exactly. I have some suspects, but I need to investigate further. What kind of private eye are you? A thorough one. When I find him, I'll tell you. Fine. No one leaves the port until then. Find me that dirt bag, and I'll help you with anything you need. How do we even know he's still here? There's not really any guarantee, is there? Mine Palace. Oh, I think they want me to do something here for the next lead. Did Lewis leave because... Hmm. Well, the pocket. The jacket pocket. That jacket must have been Lewis's, right? Because the note inside was addressed to Lewis. Oh, so he might be going to collect the debt. Lewis may be at the bar. Lewis, the inn's mother that killed Albert Throgmorton. What, we're just accepting that as fact now? Maybe hiding at the bar in Oakmont Port. Hmm, all right. Can we do anything with these, or is it just sort of like a note? Like a hint? The bar would be... Lewis may be at the bar. We should probably pin that. But can we see that on the map, or do we know where the bar is? <gasps> oh, I'm so sorry! I gave you clear instructions, did I not? <laughs> Don't do anything stupid, newcomer. And keep your hands where I can see them. Some of the controls are a little bit hard to get used to. Plus, they never gave me prompts, so very easy for me to forget. Oh god, they don't even clean up the town anymore. It's just random octopuses and squids lying around. Random back alleys. Could there be clues here? Maybe, but not in this one. Bar under the keel. Okay, out of curiosity, was it marked on the map? No. No, I guess we just didn't know where it was, but we stumbled upon it. Okay, before we get into a confrontation, maybe it's okay for us to look around the outside a little bit? Grimhaven Bay. We can't leave, can we? The port is closed by order of Robert Throgmorton. Back off. It's gonna happen. Oh, I can't. I thought I could jump the fence right in front of the guy or something. <laughs> oh my god, something's exploding right here. You guys don't even care. You look familiar, but old Billy hasn't seen you around. Oh, yeah. Hey, got a spare bullet, fella? I ain't eaten in days. Uh, sorry, no. C 
seems like there's someone doing some ritual over here already. Come, come closer, troubled soul. Let me tell you what your future holds. You're some kind of uh, fortune teller? Yes, my dear, yes. Oh, it's so clear. Your path holds many surprises, newcomer. Really? Like what? Not so fast, newcomer. I see many things. For a small fee, I'll tell you some of them. All right, how much? A dollar? <laughs> Your money has no value here, newcomer. After the flood, Oakmonter's deal in the practical. Booze, smokes, and bullets. And I'll make it easier for you. I don't smoke. The booze and bullets? I don't have booze right now? One bullet? That seems quite pricey. No wonder that guy was asking me for bullets outside. I thought that guy wanted me to put him out of his misery, but no, he actually just wanted a bullet. Let's hear what my future holds. Good. Let me focus. The sea will be generous in the coming days. Many gifts delivered, and many will regret partaking. I don't think I follow. I see old and new, a hard heart against an iron will. Whoever wins, you win too, but you'll only see that from inside a metal cage. And, and tall pillars circled by the dead. A race from one to the next as time itself laughs. I didn't understand it, but thanks. <laughs> Thank you. I'll keep that in mind. You are welcome. I can't wait to see what you do. Thank you. Now, which one of you is Lewis? Will I recognize you? The guy without a pocket on his jacket, perhaps? <gasps> Stay alert! Monsters lurk underground. They're everywhere. Ugh, how miss the carpenter's food giveaway with this darn port closure. Maybe we gotta talk to the bartender. Welcome to Under the Keel. What do you want? I've seen some unsettling creatures around, like nothing I've ever encountered. What are they? <laughs> so you met a wild beast, newcomer. No one knows what they are. But consider yourself lucky to still be in one piece. They arrived in the flood. Some say they come from the sea. Others that they are Kay's punishment for us. And what do you say? If it bleeds, you can kill it. Keep your gun handy. And if you want to erase the memory, I sell a perfect cure right here. Remember, better to be a coward and live than brave and dead. Unless you're a newcomer. No, I definitely agree with that sentiment. Do you actually sell alcohol though? Maybe I could have bought alcohol from you to give to that lady instead. I'm looking for a man by the name of Lewis Flynn. Any chance he's here? Yeah. Even if I knew, I don't rat to newcomers. Mmm. Appealed? Appealed to like. As it happens, I know you owe a debt to Mr. Flynn. Trouble is. I found your note near the dead body of Albert Throgmorton, oh. son of Robert. So, it seems Lewis is in trouble. Might have even come here to hide. But you hand him over and he won't be back to collect what you owe. Get me? Throck. That would explain the blood. Fine. If it gets me out of this mess, you can have him. So? He's upstairs. Here's the key. You gotta promise to deal with him once and for all. But save the shooting for outside, huh? Smart man. There's your good deed for the day. I'm a detective, but do I kill people? <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> um, hmm. I didn't know this guy's name was Peter. Because that's the name of the guy from the note, huh? Oh, that's right, because they mentioned that he operates the bars. Obviously, the bartender was a guy. Okay. Alright. 
Mythos, fortune teller's prophecy. What we just learned. I'm sure we'll see that sometime, but for now, we're not really sure what it means at all. And just out of curiosity, is it alright that I come back here? Yeah, I'm gonna take all your supplies. Will I need many bullets? I don't know. Better be to be safe than sorry, I guess. How do I open the inventory directly? I can't seem to do that. <laughs> I have to open some other menu and then get into the inventory? Really? I mean, I guess so. Okay, maybe I'll craft one more. And... I've got it handy. This guy's got a freaking shotgun right here. There's a distinctive lack of seats in this bar. Just three tables. What the? Get the... Oh. This bar is pretty trashy. Very leaky and moldy. I guess I can't be helped, and that's probably part of why nobody's here. Oh, just, just wanted to try that out. <laughs> just in case. Hey, who are you? What are you doing? Whoa! Uh, Charles Reed, private investigator. Mr. Throgmorton hired me to find his son, Albert, so I think you know why I'm here. Throg. That darn bartender. It was all that crazy ape's fault. You hear me? Calm down. I only want to speak, for now. But no, if you reach for your gun, you'll hit the floor faster than you can say poetic justice. I got nothing to hide. Really now? And oh my god, you look even more fishy than you did in the photo. Or one of your relatives in the photo. What kind of... <laughs> this is rude. Why do you, you... Your face, it's uh... Oh, so you're here to attack me just because I look different to you. <laughs> Wanna spit on me, whisper to your friends? What's new? Uh, no, no, I'm sorry. I, I I didn't know how to ask. I've just never met someone like you before. I didn't mean any offense. Innsmouther's bodies were blessed by the she. You're gonna see a lot of us here, so you better get over it. We are proud of who we are. Well, actually, yeah. If you live by the sea and look like a fish, it seems to fit a little bit more than looking like an ape. Start at the beginning. What happened? We... We, we were in our house, me, Paul, and Will. Barry gone to the sea. Though I told him that it would only bring bad luck. If he'd listened to me, we'd all still be alive. Come on, Lewis. Focus. Right. Well, Barry dragged that damn ape to our house. He was bragging about how much Mr. Throg Morton would give us for saving his son. But that ape, he was out cold. Then woke in an instant and started screaming, attacking us. After that, can't remember a thing. You shot to kill. No warning, no second chances. You pursued Albert even after he fled. Why? I... Well, I can't remember it. When he woke, it was like a, a bloody mist descended over me. First thing I recall after is that darn warehouse and me uh, covered in blood. I had no idea what happened, though. I suspected it had something to do with that ape. Turns out, I was right. It's the hysteria. The things you did to Albert don't look like a bloody rage. A fatal shot to the head? A hidden body? One might start to wonder if it was deliberate. Well, I don't know what to say. I wasn't myself. I hear there's a bit of a feud between the Innsmouthers and the Throgmortons. Care to fill me in? Those apes hated us from the moment we arrived in Oakmont. Our home was destroyed. We just needed a place to stay. The Blackwood Grand family sheltered us, but others were not as hospitable. We needed jobs, food, and medicine. The city denied it all. And so? We had to fight for every crumb of bread. 
And those Throgmortons in their high castle only made our life harder, always conspiring behind our backs, always setting people against us. I'd love to see them suffer like we suffered. Oh, so even though we have two families here, it doesn't seem like the ape people and the fish people are on equal standing. You mentioned a grand family. What do you mean? <laughs> so you're a newcomer, huh? Explains a lot. Yeah, a newcomer with a gun. Answer the question. Okay. People here are crazy about bloodlines and tradition and reputation. The headhunters of Oakmont are called the Grand Families. There's the Carpenters, who control most of the city's underworld. The Blackwoods, who share kin with Innsmouthers through the Marsh family. And let me guess, the Throgmortons. Right. Those filthy apes. Now that most of the Blackwoods are gone, there's nobody left to protect us Innsmouthers. I think I've got all I need. Please, Mr. Reed, don't tell Throgmorton about me. I know I'm in no position to ask. I didn't want to do whatever it is I did. Honest, have mercy, please. I have a family. Without me, they'll starve. I'll think about it. This is not exactly cut and dry. I need some time to think. Perhaps I can offer something to grease your grinds. I still have a few bullets on me. Wouldn't say no to that, but if I take it, do I have to... Do I have to fulfill this deal? Because right now, I'm thinking, yes, this guy did kill Albert. But there was also clearly some hysteria, some madness going on. So even if we kill this guy, it doesn't mean that the town's gonna be safe. But that also doesn't change the fact that he was the one who pulled the trigger, physically. It turns out I arrived here unprepared for business. You give me a little something to get started, and my lips are sealed. I knew you'd understand. <laughs> Here you are, Mr. Reed. This is so dirty, but he was gonna give me a gift, so immediately I'm like, whoop, well, I'll take it. I wonder if I have to hold up my end of the bargain, though. I think I will, not because I want to um, save him, but because I want to find out more about this hysteria. Please, I told you the truth, I swear. Did you really? Okay, well, no shooting required. It was all a very peaceful occurrence. So we can have seven bullets in our gun at one time. We should make sure to keep it loaded up. And they want me to open up the Mines Palace again, don't they? Lewis was affected by hysteria, plus Albert being murdered. Oh, okay. Ah, now it's getting interesting here because it actually makes me decide what I think about the evidence. Am I right? Am I wrong? Maybe it's gonna make a judgment later on, but for now, we don't know. I'm gonna say that Lewis was mentally affected. Based off the fact that I'm here also because I've been having those nightmares too, so... I can see how something like that's happening. Lewis was under mental influence. We figure this out by combining three pieces of evidence. Lewis killed Albert Throgmorton while under some sort of mental influence. He couldn't control his actions and thus can't be blamed for Albert's death. I could try to cover for him, or else Robert Throgmorton will have his head. Okay, fair enough. We can do that. Mmm. So, depending on what this one was, if we chose Lewis was aware of his actions, then these three would have pointed to the fact that Lewis killed him on purpose, and then we would presumably give him in to Robert. Oh, interesting. Interesting. Oh, I didn't click on it earlier. Well, let's get back to Robert then. Oh, I think this is like a tutorial area for me to get used to this district. Because if you look on the map... Right, we found all the evidence in the, um, this immediate port area. Hmm. I don't want to lie. Why can't I just say that I'm still investigating right now? They want me to pick one though, so okay. 
I tracked the murderer down, but he was attacked by those things prowling the back alleys. And they tore him apart. It was that Innsmouther fisherman, Lewis. He was covered in your son's blood. That may have attracted the beasts. Are you certain the body is his? Beyond any doubt. All that's left of him is a heap of flesh in this scrap of cloth. It's from his jacket. Just ask his friends. Alas, this was my revenge to exact, not some wild beasts. Something must be done about those pests. Still, justice has been served. This isn't closure. But at least I know now the story. Thank you. Mr. Throgmorton, I hate to press you, but do you think you could help me now? Yes, you've earned it. Kate, to think a newcomer barely off the boat solves a crime the police couldn't, but I digress. Remind me, what brought you to Oakmont? I'm looking into an outbreak of erratic behavior and madness, all linked to shared visions of this place. Indeed. Then our goals align. This inexplicable hysteria has spread through Oakmont after the flood. I funded an expedition to explore recent geological activity that may be responsible. A geological expedition? I'm not sure I follow. I have reason to believe the Flood and this madness of the same source. As above, so below. So I sent men to find out. That's a fair link to make. Do these cases of hysteria involve shared visions as well? Since the Flood, many Oakmonters have had similar nightmares. Indeed, Professor Doe, the expedition leader, complained of them herself. Waterlogged ruins with unnatural architecture. A sleeping giant, drowned streets, and a voice calming from the depths. Her words, exactly. She proposed the expedition, desperately wanting to find the cause. You mentioned the Flood. You think it's more than just a natural disaster. You weren't here, Mr. Reed. What happened defied scientific explanation. Has your expedition found anything? I do not know. Albert is... Albert was part of it. His passing cannot be coincidence. Why was he alone at the port? And where are the others? You think your son was killed because the expedition uncovered something? Is it so hard to believe? I had no news for a week that Albert, the only one I could trust, comes ashore and is killed. It does sound suspicious. Mr. Reed, I want you to find out what's going on. I expect you're as interested in the expedition's results as I am. <laughs> Let's talk payment. But if you're saying that your son was killed by somebody because he found something out, before he died, he had the hysteria thing going on too. So it's almost like we're trying to say that somebody can control this hysteria. That's a really scary thought. If I'm going to look into this, I'll need to know more. Where should I start? I'll give you the address of the expedition's headquarters and a key. That's all you can tell me? Let me be clear, Reed. You do not speak to me like that again. I'm sorry, Mr. Throgmorton. I just meant the more I know, the better. I am a busy man. I funded the research, but left all preparations to Professor Doe and... Albert, when you've finished, come see me at the Throgmorton family manor. It's in Old Grove. Here, I'll show you. What about my expenses? They will be reimbursed after you complete your task. And of course, you've earned some compensation for your work here at the port. I'll also include a fair advance in bullets. Uh, bullets? The dollar lost its use here, Mr. Reed. After the flood, Oakmont returned to bartering. Bullets mean more than bills. I can understand the sentiment behind that, but like, do you all need bullets that often? Frosty, welcome! Case complete! Well, I feel like this might be a pretty good place for me to stop here for a first look then. 
Uh, the mystery does seem kind of interesting, although I think you can tell by now that this game is... kind of janky. I feel like a lot of my first bit here was really just trying to understand the controls because they weren't really willing to uh, tell me. But I do feel like I have a better understanding of everything now, so I guess it just takes a while to get used to. But yeah, it's, uh, it's kind of hard to tell where everything will go from now on in terms of quality of the game. Uh, this was well ends with the first look of the sinking city. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching this as much as I enjoyed playing it. And I will see you next time. Bye!